Hi gang, Shallis here. Um, rather, this is my video log for this week, and it is in a pon rental pontoon boat um, from the Lake Fairview Marina on what lake? Lake Fairview um, in Orlando at the um, intersection of uh, OBT and um, Lee Road, and OBT is US 441. Uh, so. Uh, cruising around the lake and uh, this first part will be a cruise all the way around the lake. It's mostly at um, full speed here as as full speed in a pontoon boat can be but um, <clears throat> Full speed is about 3,000 RPM, maybe a little bit over, and um, you get between 12 and 14 knots, depending on uh, a turn or against or with the wind. Uh, you can see from the water that there is actual rain happening, and we have a little bit of breeze blowing the water, and you can, on the right over there, you see water drops, and the crinkling you hear will be rain hitting the um, the metal uh, roof um, under which I'm standing and going this fast water does blow in and you get wet in the front so um, <laughs> yes it was a wet and soggy day but um, a most enjoyable day actually and those who know me already know that how many times I've said I love the rain and here it is here's the proof out in the rain and um, having a really good time. As you can see, there there are numerous houses around the lake. In fact, there's not any. There are not. I think I saw two or three small areas that um, did not have a house or a dock uh, or a pier on it. So, pretty much everywhere around the lake is owned by somebody, and that is as it should be. Um, this, the um, it's a private lake, and and the um, although the state of Florida does claim ownership of it, um, but everybody's property around the lake is is private up to uh, the main water line, and um, the water rights is a is a big is a big uh, situation, and the state of Florida claims ownership of all main water rights, um, starting at the at the um, at statehood in 1845. It is um, 
generally it mostly was a westerly breeze maybe a bit of a, a southerly portion to it but mostly it was a westerly breeze so any westerly direction you were going to get the breeze and then the water really did um, just blow into the boat you, you're heading right into the wind right into the right into the rain Here I have, I have taken the camera out of its holder um, to show you some different views. Uh, obviously that's looking aft and you can see a um, bit of the wake and the, and the result of the, um, of the pontoons being pushed through the water and the propeller wake from the uh, motor. And obviously I couldn't stand still very easily. could see all the, uh, the raindrops on my tablet. I, I do have a, um, a waterproof sleeve that works very, very well, um, but I didn't have a chance to put it in there yet. starboard bow and coming forward returning to the direction of a uh, restaurant called Grills and it has it is accessible by car from the road but it is also accessible by boat uh, on the lake uh, they have little uh, they have an area to tie to tie the boats uh, so it's got a kind of a greenish tint to the um, to the roof and we're pretty much heading uh, straight there now.
a turn to starboard for the approach to the dock. Um, decided to dock lengthwise. Uh, nobody else was there, so didn't really concern too much about taking up dock space. But uh, this part of the lake is this is the leeward part of the lake um, in the lee of the wind, uh, being a west wind, and this is the western side of the lake. So did not have any wind really to contend with uh, during docking maneuvers. There was a slight current and depending on other boats out in the lake, um, waves and or wake and whatnot um, could have an effect, but it was pretty still here. Even so, um, it actually actually was a pretty good docking um, considering my lack of experience. Uh, a slow approach, which uh, there's not much way, and the pontoon boat is very sluggish to maneuver without much way, and, um, I, but still you have to have a slow approach. And without the wind or current, it, it did okay. And then next I'll be going forward and tying off the, um, the forward line onto a cleat onto the dock. There are no cleats on the boat, um, so the the lines are tied to um, holes in the pontoon itself or brackets in the pontoon itself. Uh, so this boat isn't really isn't really well equipped for um, docking. Dock lines are are in short supply. There are only really two forward dock lines on both the port and starboard um, pontoons. Uh, so I had to use the anchor and anchor road to um, fashion a, a, a stern uh, a stern line and to, to hold the, um, the bow and stern in and that held it fairly uh, parallel to the dock. Not bad for working in the rain. Wasn't raining heavily or heavy, it, um, but it was, it, there were raindrops falling and hence my, my black rain jacket. Um, which did very well as well, and uh, my hat uh, kept the water out of my eyes, and of course my hair got wet, but you know, who cares, this is, that's what's fun. So, um, arranging figure eights on the cleat uh, forward, and then uh, once that's uh, arranged and, and tied off, I'll um, move, move aft, and, um, but not to worry, uh, seamanship is, is important, and after after the boat was tied down, I cleaned up the lines, and any excess any excess line was um, properly coiled and left um, on the bow or stern of the boat uh, out of the way, so nobody can trip over them. That's what seaman, seamanship is about. Here is a little cove, uh, stopped here uh, and just stayed, didn't have much of a wind uh, blowing us hither and yon and not a lot of waves in this cove because not a lot of boat traffic and you can see we're right up next to, not exactly on the shore, there's a lot of water between here and there but the, uh, the growth in the water comes right up to the boat and it was really peaceful. Um, you can see on the water in the lake that the drops are still falling and the pitter-patter of the raindrops hitting the, um, the, the metal uh, roof is um, was very relaxing and very calming. Stay here um, probably about an hour or so um, just sitting and reading and yes, um, uh, little, little dozes here and there. Uh, head bobs and stuff, um, but um, it was it was really peaceful. And, and there's my foot got stuck in the video. Um, and really, mostly you can hear the um, you tune out your brain gets to tune out the the traffic background noise. But uh, and then you just hear the pitter patter of the raindrops. It was so peaceful.
A Chalice Boating Adventure in the Rain. Thank you so much for watching.